How is it going guys? Uh, my name is Aaron Young. I'm an Alchemy team diver out of Key West, Florida in the United States. Um, one of the most common questions we get down here is um, about hunting rigs or artificial structures, towers, um, markers, stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty common in here. We have quite a few areas that we hunt. I'm gonna discuss some of the things that we deal with uh, when, when we're out there hunting the rigs. I'd say one of the biggest uh, differences, if you're used to uh, reef style hunting and you know um, hunting rock piles, bottom structure ledges, and you haven't done any artificial uh, rigs or towers. Uh, the biggest difference is obviously you have a structure coming up out of the surface of the water, uh, so you deal with fish getting tangled um, that you wouldn't deal with regularly on the reef. Um, that's something that we have to contend with. You use a different style uh, line, like a lot of guys use Spectra. Um, if we're out there hunting the rigs, some of the guys switch to cable. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I usually use Dyneema or sometimes we'll use an abrasive resistant uh, float line, an armored float line. Because a lot of times you shoot a big fish, you can't stop it, they're going to get wrapped up in the legs and you got to deal with something that will, will not cut on the sharp uh, structures. Uh, some of the most common fish we deal with out on the rigs um, mainly we were going out there for cobia. We get a big cobia run uh, here down in the Keys on the artificial structures. Uh, cobia, permit, Af African pompano are one of the uh, targets we like to go for out there. Um, Any time of the year you can find all kinds of snappers, mangrove snappers, dog snappers, cabaras, um, yellowtail snappers. Um, that's something that's pretty regularly dealt with out there. Some of the dangers that we deal with, uh, you know, other than getting caught up, um, getting snagged on the, the line or the, um, the structure, um, where there's a lot of fish, there's a lot of predators. So more prevalent than anywhere else, I think you probably see more sharks and um, goliath groupers if you're familiar with those. Uh, we see those more than anywhere on the artificial rigs and structures that we hunt. If you plan on doing any rig hunting, I highly recommend it be with experienced divers or divers that you trust. Um, a lot of times we do a one man up, one man down method. Uh, we, for, for each two guys in the water, we only have one gun. That way, if someone's down there and shoots a fish that needs assistance, they've got someone right on top of them, ready to help pull, ready to keep that fish from getting wrapped up uh, in the legs and getting cut off or sharked or, or eaten by one of the Goliath groupers. I mean, I've had days where the Goliath groupers are so bad, they swallow every fish that we pull up and are on the way up and we have to move spots just because they're so aggressive. Um, I, I remember one time in general, or one time specifically, excuse me, that uh, we had a Goliath grouper eat two or three 30 pound permits um, and swallowing them whole, like is no, no problem. They get you know upwards of several hundred pounds. So just keep that in mind. If you plan on going out there, make sure you're with some guys that you trust. That's all I got for you today. Um, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you learned something and I'll catch you guys later.